Good evening to you. They are trying to keep tabs on every registered sex offender. Today, several law enforcement agencies in Franklin County kicked off their summer solstice safeguard program. Every registered sex offender in the county will be checked to make sure that they are in compliance with the terms of their release. Andrea Walker rides along with deputies in our top story at 530. There are currently 82 registered sex offenders living in Franklin County. Officers like Lieutenant Shaka Tahid Bridges. The 30,000 block of Union Ridge. Are conducting compliance checks as we speak for things like verification of residence I'm and employment. Uh, we're going to check on a gentleman by the name of Millard Fields, I believe. The department, along with other law enforcement agencies, okay, conduct a large scale check like today's at least once a year. Typically, they find six to eight people or 10% in violation of the terms of their release. According to Lieutenant Bridges, Millard Fields is not one of those violators. It was a nice and uh, polite and professional encounter. Uh, he was in compliance, and that's what we want to see. To ensure these convicted sex offenders are compliant, officers are making sure they do not have any social media accounts. Our next visit is... Larry Allison. Yeah, this is it. Hey! What are you saying? Long time no see, Mr. Allison. Hey, we're here to check on you. You can be on the internet, you just can't be on social networks. Yeah. Yeah. After a brief check inside the home, Larry Allison is found compliant. We're out to the Franklin County Regional Jail to charge an individual by the name of Mark Lewis for failure to comply. Officers believe Lewis is giving them a fake address. He, he did admit he ain't been there two or three days. Now Lewis is facing a felony charge. Hey, if they're compliant, they're going to work, they're with their family, they're doing what they're supposed to, great. It's a win-win. Those uh, that are not in compliant, uh, you know, there are consequences and hopefully they'll get back on the right track. In Frankfurt, Andrea Walker, WKYT. And to be clear, Mark Lewis is considered innocent until proven guilty. He will have a court date set in the near future.